Marcus, we're inching towards day 31 of the shutdown, and while leaders in Washington are negotiating or at the negotiating table, many here in the metro are hoping to keep food on the table for over 4,000 federal employees out of work in Mississippi. Hundreds of thousands of federal employees are dipping into rainy day funds as the end of the government shutdown is nowhere in plain sight. But organizations in the metro are stepping up to the plate, offering assistance. We have a lot of individuals in our community that need help. And when you're looking at a problem that big, it can feel like, what can we do? We're just one person. Jackson Foodie says one thing they do well is food. Another is community outreach. We are doing a gift card drive for the federal workers who have been furloughed. It's an idea that the organization put into action Sunday. Jackson Foodie says since setting up drop off locations at Bravo, Broad Street Bakery and Salad Mookie's, they've heard from dozens of federal employees. Getting them a gift card, a small gift card to Kroger or Target or be, helping them get some gas, you know, helping them feed their family so that they're not wondering if they're going to be able to keep the lights on or stay in their house. I think we can all identify with that. And State officials are expressing their concerns too. Governor Phil Bryant pleading with Homeland Security Chair Benny Thompson on Friday to quote, reach a deal on a border wall in the coming days and weeks. Thompson firing back in a response letter pointing out his concerns with border security and quote, the well being of our state citizens. Also saying the governor quote, failed to mention the nearly 4,000 Mississippians going without a paycheck. Put the people back to work and let's negotiate border security. But don't hold those 800,000 employees hostage in this situation. President Trump is expected to hand off a deal for negotiation in the Senate tomorrow. And as those employees continue to play the waiting game, Jackson Foodies is asking them to reach out to receive a gift card care packet the week of January 28th. Interested individuals will need to bring their federal ID. Marcus, back to you.